And now I live in cults. People. Have you ever wondered why in statics the cult people sometimes kept a tap? They say it is, just means hat. In my country, they're called something like head of the population, not capital. Uh, the word capital can translate it in some way from Latin uh, to the word capita. Capital. 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 Uh, Means capitala. Uh, this means actually property. Have you ever wondered again why the society called you property? It is because you are worth nothing to them. That's just the way, that's the reason most Republicans are against abortion, but but are done giving a fuck about the living. If you are pre-born, you are get a respect. Yeah, they won't fight for you. But when you are born, you oh, are don't uh, important to them. At least not until you. <laughs> Reach their lifetime, their age of work employment, military age. Yes, then they care about you because they want that you work for them. But before that, they don't give a flying fuck about you, honestly. If you mean. If you look at this real, or from a real perspective, people. Now let me talk about abortion. And what now is the problem with it? Now, before, uh, some 20, some, uh, some say 24 weeks, fetuses are not, and I repeat, Capable of uh, are not capable of feeling pain or suffering. Their central nervous system is taught that time not fully developed. It means the neurons are not connected, so there is no suffering. The majority of abortions are for that time. Also. In some cases, for example, with rape or incest, or in the case of seriously and extremely degenerate people, I think it is not a good idea if they get children. So, let them get on abortions. You know, stupid people get more children because they are, don't think before they are, you know uh, what I mean. No. This topic I don't like to talk about so much, if I be honest. But, yep. Second, before the 18th century, there were not more than one billion people on the planet. Just a little bit more than 100 years later. We have 7.8 billion people on the planet. 7.8 billion people on the planet. And this is not only from third nation countries 
like Africa um, and India and even China. Don't be ridiculous. For example, in Australia, after the World War II, there were just something like seven, uh, something like um, eight million or something like that people um, in Australia. Today, the seven, uh, seven, um, twenty-seven. Here's statics. If you want to check it out. Say me that we are not for populate. Yes, the majority is in third nation or third matrix countries. But the problem is not only there. We need a form of population control. That's a fact. We are on this moment violating the three laws of ecology. The three basic laws of ecology where all living beings on the planet are bound by. There's a limited amount of space on the planet. Fine, a limited amount in finite resources. All species are independent with each other, meaning they are all, all connected in one or another way with each other. They work in some symbiotic relationship with each other. And we don't even know that how it exactly work 100% on the moment. Because we are not smart enough to understand it all. Then we have the law of diversity. One ecosystem needs diversity in species to be healthy. This world is not one planet of one species, as we so often so delusional belief. We need to become earthlings and as earthlings we need to realize that this world belongs also to other living beings and other organisms. And we need to learn to share this planet. Because we are not important. We are displaceable. So ironic that the ones who go other living beings displaceable often. So history has shown and logic has shown are the ones who are displaceable. The elite class was not possible without the worker class. The elite class only exists because of the hard work of the working class. Do you understand what I say? It is time to rip that blinders away and see the world the way it is. Go Vika! Stop believing you are so much important. Learn to become humble. Altruistic is turned of a selfish arrogance. Swat. Attack. A skin. It's time to step in reality. Now uh, I will only share some very good quotes from Einstein. 
a so-called human being sees himself as something separate from the rest. What optional delusion of our consciousness. This illusion restricts ourselves from giving compassion to all living beings and nature and its beauty. We need to free ourselves from this prison and embrace all living beings and nature in its beauty.